Hello everyone, this is second video on spot diagnosis. Today I will show you another rare case. So these are the images of the newborn. One was stillborn and another was admitted in NICU for few hours then expired. You can see the characteristic coarse facial feature in both the images. Both are having the frontal bossing, hypertellurism, mid facial hypoplasia, depressed nasal breeze, low set ear and macrocephaly you can see. Also having the short neck and the conical shape or narrow thorax is present in both the newborns. Protuberant abdomen and characteristically short limbs are there. Also having the short fingers. So on the basis of these characteristic clinical findings of the macrocephaly, large fontanelle, dysmorphic, coarse facial feature, short neck, small conical, neurothorax, protuberant abdomen and shortening of limbs label as a micromelia, short stubby fingers, brachydactyly. The diagnosis will be thentophoric dysplasia type 1. In last slide, I will describe what will be the difference between type 1 and the type 2. This is the radiological image of the newborn who was admitted in NICU. So characteristic radiological findings you can see having the large head, short ribs and the flat vertebral body label as a platyspondyly. On characteristic configuration of the vertebra, H or U shape configuration you can see in this x-ray. Curved and shortening of the long bone is present and femur shape just like a telephone receiver. It is characteristically present in this. It is present in the type 1 and metaphysis of the long bone is enlarged and cup shaped configuration. So you can see the metaphysis is enlarged and cup shaped. So in brief about the thentophoric dysplasia, it is the most late congenital skeleton dysplasia incidence 1 in 20,000 to 1 in 50,000 live birth autosomal dominant mutation in FGFR3 gene on the chromosome band 4p 16.3 there are two types type 1 which is most common 80% type 2 rare 20% in type 1 curve shape of the femur like a telephone receiver will be present but the no clover leaf shaped skull while in the type 2 femur will be straight but the skull is clover leaf shape because of craniosynostosis thank you so much